Good morning, and it is a fine looking morning out there, even if it is it's still pretty cold. It is looking pretty nice, and the wanderer returns. Do, 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 you coming in? You coming in? Or are you just gonna? Yep. Yeah. What are you doing? You're in. Come in. So yes, it is uh stay in my hair. Jeez, you can tell I've just woken up. It is a Monday morning and we're back in the household as usual. Oh. First things first. Oh. Okay, that's better. Um yeah, so it's Monday. <clears throat> we're it's about eight o'clock in the morning. Nice and early, and uh, we're gonna get on with some work. Cause it's normal, normally a work day, so it makes sense to just get up, kind of a try and get on with this one I had on Friday that I just I couldn't get my head around. It's a nightmare of a sight to do, so we try and get on with that this morning. And um, I need to get in touch with the boss. I also need to get in touch with one 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 because, as you know, we've been self isolating for a week um, because of this cough that I've had, and I still have the cough. So I'm due back into work tomorrow, so I need to call 111 and have a discussion, say, look, you know, this is the situation. Should I be going back or should I carry on working from home? And then obviously, obviously discuss that with, with the boss and uh, see how unhappy he is with that, really. Um, well, I heard some news this morning. All McDonald's are closing down. No more McDonald's. Um, not forever, obviously, but during this time at the moment, they have announced that they'll be closing all of their... Um, all of their stores, um, which I'm kind of shocked about. I thought, you know, because because they they'd announced that they were allowing uh, drive throughs and that they're allowing people to go in to order, which was a bit weird because obviously you'd have a lot of people in the branch um, ordering and in close proximity to each other. I know the one where I live in Yeovil, they actually had a lot of people sitting in there and eating in the other day before they were told not to. Um, but yeah, now apparently they're closing all of them, um, which I'm kind of shocked about because I thought that there would be ones to stay open as long as they could do the drive throughs and that's it. So yeah, McDonald's is closed. Um, shocking. So yeah, that, that's a bit of a bummer. I think most of the other takeaway places are staying open. Uh, I don't know if like KFC and Burger King and other similar um, fast food chains will do the same. So it'll be interesting to see what they do over the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, once again, as I keep saying, it is what it is. People just got to be vigilant and just got to do what they got to do to get through this time. Um, which is why we've been doing what we've been doing. Um, that's why I want to contact 111 and make sure we're making the right decision as well. So I'm going to get on with some work, try and wake up a little bit, see if I can smash this out of the way. And then, um, I might call 111 while I'm doing the work and uh, just to have a chat. I don't want to waste their time because I'm sure they're extremely busy at the moment, but we kind of need to know what the right decision is to make um, for us because there's a there's an online thing. If any of you are wondering what you need to do, um, if you go to um, 111 um, online or... Um, I think it's just type in 111 online and there's like a a questionnaire thing you can do on their website and it will give you an indication as to um, what your best uh, kind of action is you know it will ask you if you've had a cough if you had a temperature how long you've had them for um, if you've been, been feeling confused or anything like that answer those questions and it'll give you an answer at the end of what you need to do um, I did it last night and it said you know we need to call 111 and speak to a nurse so that's what we need to do <coughs> <coughs> So we're going to do that, but if anyone's unsure, <coughs> do that. Do the 111 online. I don't know. That's for the UK, obviously. I don't know what it is overseas. So if you don't live in the UK, um, get online or ask for some assistance as to what the best kind of protocol is for you to do. And um, just make sure you're getting the right advice out there and do the right thing. Um it's tough, I know. I'm in the situation. I've been off work for a week. I know they're not going to be happy about it. Um, I'm sure there's things said, you know. Um, 
it's a very old school mentality where I work. So it's kind of, you know, just suck it up by the cup kind of thing, but you've got to be realistic in these situations. So um, regardless of what your employer thinks or says, you've got to do what's right um, for you and for others around you. It's not just your individual um, health and being that you're looking after as other people around you. So um, as tough as it is um, morally and um, consciously, just you, you got to do the right thing. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to have to abide by the rules and the government kind of um, recommendations. And that's why they got these things in place uh, for a very good reason. We're already three weeks behind Italy. and They've had some real hard hits. So we want to make sure we're, we're doing the right thing. So let's see where the day takes us. Um, I've got a couple of ideas to try and keep us busy today. Uh, one of them is cleaning the office because uh, that really needs doing. So I'll show you the state of that later on. And hopefully we can get on with some of that. And this thing's a bit some clean. I did some decorating the downstairs uh, bathroom last week. And it's uh, it's pretty much done. There's just a bit of clean up to do. So uh, that gives us something to do as well. So there's always things you can do to keep busy. And um, and kind of go from there really. So let's see. Let's have a cup of tea. Relax. Get on with some work. And let's take it from there. Ah, oh, well, that was an interesting call. So we called 111. We spoke to, um, spoke to a chap on there. Explained the situation. And uh, he has recommended further ins ice insulation. Insulation will keep us warm. Further isolation. So that's it's a real bummer. Um, it does. He he did say you know if the cough calms down, you know where it's not every other few minutes, then um, we can kind of take ourselves out of that situation. So I'm hoping it won't be for another seven days, maybe for the next couple. Um, hopefully it kind of calms down enough that we can kind of get back into work. Oh, it means I've got to make that call. Mm. And uh, carry on working from home. So it is a bit of a bummer. I'm really getting fed up of sitting inside now, not being able to go out as much as I, I, I was or I used to. I never used to go out that much anyway. Um, but we're trying to get out more, um, so that's a bit of a bummer. It is what it is, we're not going to get too down about it. That is my saying, it is what it is. I'm starting to realise I say that a lot. Hmm. But, you know, I've got to take their advice. It's It sucks, but what can you do? We've got to be careful out there, be vigilant, and, um, and not be silly, not rush things. So, we'll carry on as we are. Fun times, fun times indeed. Right, well that's work done for the day already. It's uh, pretty much bang on 11 o'clock. So I've emailed the boss to let him know obviously we uh, we need to stay off a little bit longer and if he's got any more work for us to send me more because that's done now. So yeah, it's now uh, kind of probably clean up time around the house. Let the cats in, Benjamin, you can kind of see him. Um, yeah, so it's time to do that now. Just kind of do a bit of a clean up. It's not much there because I've been on top of it pretty well. And so I've uh, not had much else to do, so do that. And then um, there's a bit more to do. Like I said, I was going to sort out the downstairs bath. So everything's done in here. It's all painted and gloss and everything, as you saw last week. But um, it's kind of clean up mode now because Michelle's made a lot of mess. <laughs> she does like to make messes and then just clean it up afterwards. So we just need to kind of go around and kind of clean the floor up. Get all the the marks off the floor here. I might end up changing the. It's kind of like lino down in here. It's not very nice. So I might end up uh, putting some tiles in here or something anyway. And um, there's two black marks up here, which I'm not too sure where they've come from. Um, so I need to kind of paint over those and clear those up uh, as well. So there's something to do. I'm going to pace myself in here because it stinks of bleach from you know where she's been kind of cleaning all the faucets and everything up. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it'll certainly give you a headache if you're in there for too long, but we're open the window at least. So that's going to be our next task. I still need to sort out the vlog from yesterday. So I need to get that uploaded as well, rendered and everything else. Um, I think it was quite a short one yesterday. I didn't do too much. As usual, there's not much that you can do at the moment. Um, and then the rest of the day is ours for what we want to do. I am tempted to go out for a drive because as I said, and you saw this morning it is uh, well. You can see nothing. Um, it is really nice outside. I think it's still quite cold, but I'm tempted just to go out for a drive anyway, even if it's just to get out for five minutes. Um, so we might do that. I'll see if I can maybe set up the GoPro or on my phone 
in the car. Um, just depends, really. That's all we've got to do. So I'm going to get on with that next. Have a quick break and um, clean up the bathroom. And then uh, we've got to go upstairs and sort the vlog. That'll be the next stage after doing the bathroom. So again, there's no rush for what we need to do today. It's just kind of killing time and trying to make the most of the situation that we're in. Stay safe, everyone. COVID-19 2020. Okay, so progress update. This is a lot harder than I thought. And it looks great from there, but it's still... If you're getting close, there's still some bits. We need to get rid of most of this is all loose. We need to pick all that up. There's loads to do around here still. It's flipping stuck. It is a pain to get off. Um, but we're getting there. From a distance now, as you can see there, it's looking really, really good, really clean. We've still got a lot more to do out here where I kind of drag the door out. Mm. It ended up coming up across here, so there's more to do. That's about uh, taking me about 20 minutes, half an hour so far. So, um, quick kind of breath, because uh, that is bleach in there, so you know it can kind of really get into your lungs and get in your sinuses. So, sensible to take a break and don't be exposed to it too long and um, I just remember to take my rings off as well because uh, bleach and silver doesn't go so we're getting there progress and that is a job well done um, yeah it took a while it's taken me about an hour to get it all up but we have officially cleared all the paint off the floor and I'll have to move I'm absolutely knackered now Absolutely knackered. It's only midday. I'm ready to go to bed. That was tiring. But it looks a lot better now. That is the complete bathroom. I still need to sort those two dots out there. But other than that, it is officially nice, complete, almost brand new looking bathroom. So, yeah, very happy with the results. Now, I might not clean all this up because basically we're going to be um, carpeting the whole downstairs the sofa will be going because the cats have actually destroyed it so we're going to buy like 50 scratch posts just to try and keep them from scratching and everything else they've absolutely destroyed the sofa a big problem with cats any pets uh, cats, dogs, rabbits they all tend to destroy um, anything you own so um, bear that in mind if you want to buy a pet don't do it um, so yeah, we need to get a new scratch post. So obviously all of this is going to be replaced by carpet. So the fact that we don't use the front door anyway, um, other than picking up posts and not answering the door, if anyone answers, we always come through the back door. <sighs> Jokes aside, didn't mean it that way. Um, so it, it's, it's almost pointless keeping this here. Might as well rip it all up, um, kind of from this door frame here, the threshold out towards there. And at least uh, that's one section done. Um, but yeah, the job complete. Quick break, and then we need to go upstairs and sort out the vlog, and I need to sort some work emails out and uh, see what other work we've got to do this week. Beforehand, basically, um, <sighs> my rings up off the floor. Um, yeah, so basically, last week when I was off, I just had work, um, I bought some work home with me, and then had some more dropped off. <laughs> But now, as I'm going to have to be off for longer, um, I can access my emails from home. And um, I might be able to get along with quite a bit of work from home just by um, downloading the drawings and kind of basing them off what I can do. So I can't print them because they're normally like A2 and A1 and A3, which I don't have the ability to print off here. But I might be able to work on most of them um, just from the computer itself, just through memory as well of most of the work I've done with the, the, the main clients I deal with, so I could get away with that. So there's actually more to do now than ever, so at least we're going to be busy. Um, so yeah, quick break. Um, it's about midday, so I might get something to eat. And then uh, on to the next task. The vlog, emails, work stuff. I'll try to fix some gaming as well, I guess. Well, welcome to my working station for the next three, four hours. Um, so many windows going on. We got split screen on there. We got the vlog going on there. We did have split screen on here. Um, I'm covering it up because it's my Facebook page. On the left here, I did have my work emails, which I've obviously uh, minimised for um, GDPR reasons. But we are now working from home still. 
in the office. I was going to sort this out today because, like I said to you, if I disconnect my phones, I've been transferring files. My room is just an absolute mess at the moment. This is not too bad over here. Um, it's just a mess. I need to really clear it up. Um, sort cables out. I've got monitor under there and all sorts of crap down here and everything else. So, I mean, th that was the idea for this afternoon, but I've now got some extra work to do. So, we're going to wait for the next 15 minutes for that to finish rendering. Then we're going to get that uploaded onto YouTube and scheduled for 8pm um, tonight. And then uh, get on with some more work. So I've just got to check the emails most of the day and see what comes in and do what we can do. There's only so much we can do from here. Um, so I can't print drawings off like I said earlier on. So we'll just kind of see how the day takes us really. But it's progress. I tell you what, I've got both my windows open out there. I've closed the blinds because the sun's just beaming in at the moment. And uh, it's boiling in here. I leave I leave the office and generally it's, it's a lot cooler out here. I'm also going to pop downstairs now anyway. But it's a lot cooler out here than it is... In there, it's, it's amazing how much heat, like a computer and like three monitors and everything else, can actually uh, give out. So, yeah, that's uh, that's part of our day all gone. The morning's gone already. That's that's disappeared. But at least we've got more stuff to do now, and we have been productive all morning. We did the uh, the site from this morning. Um, I've done a few bits around the house. I did. End up getting some washing up, and then there's now more there because I'll be needing. We did the uh, the downstairs bathroom, cleaned all that up already uh, for, uh, for for use again, and um, yeah, we we we've been making progress. We're doing well, so it's not like we've been sat around lazing around all day. I was up at eight o'clock this morning, and um, yeah, I think today's gonna be very busy. It's not gonna be what we wanted to do. I wanted to get the uh, the office all cleaned up. Um, which I could still do maybe tomorrow, but it just depends how much work we get coming in as well. So, uh, yeah, progress is good. It's keeping my mind busy, making me feel not too bad being stuck at home the whole time. Well, that's work hours now done. It's 20 past five. Um, emails look good for the day. There's not too much we have to worry about, which is good. We uh, we play some CSGO as well, as you do at work, you know, because everyone's got to play some video games at work, and CSGO I need to get some practice on, because I am shit. Um, so I did some of that. Uh, wife is now home, Michelle's home, so we need to go do some sort some dinner out. Um, I try to make things easier for her. She's in a very stressful job at the moment, so if I can help out by cooking dinner, I do not mind. So I think we're going to have some chicken... Stir fry tonight. Uh, and I think we'll probably chill for the rest of the evening. We got into a new program on Netflix called The Order. It's not amazing, but it's something that we can binge. There's only one season on there. It's kind of like almost like a glorified kind of twilight. There's werewolves and like magic and stuff. It's a typical kind of uh, American cottage style program series so it's something to watch it's something to do and um, we'll see what we do from, from later on really so uh, I think that's our plan for the rest of the evening and uh, yeah I definitely need to get some more um, practice in CSGO because I used to be pretty decent at this game I'm not saying I used to be amazing but I'm definitely not as good as I was so definitely need to get some practice on that so I'll probably pick that up either later on this evening or tomorrow once we've done some work again so, again, a pretty successful day. Uh, still haven't cleaned the office, and I think because Michelle was now, because she's the manager of the care um, agency, she doesn't have to go out and do too much care. So I think now the offices are starting to close down and also work from home. So she's got to do some interviews and other stuff for more care staff because they're screaming for them. And then I think we're going to start doing more decorating in between my own work. Um, so the bedroom, which is one of the biggest tasks, or the biggest task, of upstairs, which will be the last room to do upstairs, other than the hallway. We're going to make a start on that tomorrow or Wednesday. So that's going to be uh, pretty manic. I'll try and capture some of that as we're getting through the progress. But yeah, that's... Uh, <coughs> 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 
that's going to be very full on. So stay tuned for that. Um, time to go down and sort some dinner out. Tonight's dinner is a mixture of pepper stir fry mix with some egg noodles and some that Kiko Man soy sauce and some beautiful chicken on the bone. So I think we're going to kind of put that on the side and then have all that beautiful colouring to go with it. So last time we did something similar, we did like diced beef and stuff, it was really nice. So we've got some other chicken to try this time. Um, not too sure how much of that stuff to put in, kind of just going with it and seeing what works, but it's looking good so far. We need to do a taste test on it though, see how nice it actually tastes. But uh, do that and then chill out and watch the order. We're going to binge that, probably end up finishing that tonight, hopefully. There's only one series. Um, and then we're stuck with trying to find something else to watch. So if you've got some recommendations of what we can binge during these times, let me know. We've got Netflix, Sky, Amazon Prime. So we've got all the, 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 the kind of the platforms. <coughs> Just tell us what to watch. Please. Et voilà. Chicken with stir fry noodles and uh, some added spicy kind of mayo stuff. Which tastes nice, but I have no idea how to pronounce it, so yes. Please. Please. Staying at home, we are increasing our stocks of equipment. We are accelerating our search for treatments. We're pioneering work on a vaccine. And we are buying millions of testing kits to enable us to turn the tide on this invisible killer. I want to thank everyone who is working flat out to beat the virus. Everyone from the supermarket staff to the transport workers to the carers to the nurses and doctors on the front. Respect for everyone. But in this fight, we can be in no doubt that each and every one of us is directly enlisted. Each and every one of us is now obliged to join together to halt the spread of this disease, to protect our NHS, and to save many, many thousands of lives. And I know that as they have in the past so many times, the people of this Holy country will shit. rise to that challenge and we will come through it stronger than ever. We will <coughs> beat the coronavirus and we will beat it together. And that will Well, it's official. I've had to come into the kitchen because my wife's phone is absolutely blowing up right now because it's official. We're in lockdown. Absolute lockdown. Nationwide. The whole of it. This is history in the making. I. <laughs> I can't even believe it, my cat is not happy. He's like, oh, don't, don't let me lock down. Um, you can go out and take it, don't you worry about you. That's absolutely insane. I I, I, I cannot believe it. Yeah, I cannot believe it. Um, it's all right, boy. I'll get you some food in a minute. Wow. This is something that, I mean, a lot of us have spoken about being possible, but I never thought it would actually happen. It's absolutely insane. The UK is officially on lockdown. No one should be leaving their house unless they really have to. No more than two people of a public gathering. Um, you can't go shopping unless it's highly essential. Police are now enforced to, um, to do everything they have to do in any measure um, to control um, you going out. Um, I assume this is when the military are now going to start having to come out and, um, and roam. Guys, this is insane. This is absolutely mad. Um, so yeah, this is, as I said, a history in the making. Um, wow, I, I, I kind of lost for words. Although I kind of thought it was going to happen, I, I didn't expect it to really come to this. So I am absolutely just, wow. Um, I'm going to put, like, you'll see, I just did some recording of, of the news. It will be in the video. You should have already just seen it. I don't care if I get um, blocked on YouTube for it. I don't see why I should. It's important information. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. Um, oh. Just can't stress enough now how much you've really got to follow these guidelines. Um, it's really, really essential to everyone to make sure they stay alive, they stay well, they stay vigilant and be safe um, at this time. So support the government and what they're trying to do here. Um, whether you agree with it or not, You've got to abide by what they're saying right now, so make sure you do do it. Um, we're all in a time where none of us have ever really imagined it would ever happen in our lifetime. If anything, we all expected a World War Three. You know, this is in some ways a lot worse than World War Three. This is 
you know, devastating on, on, on many levels and it's affecting people that, that, that really should not be affected in any way. Um, so just look after your loved ones. Don't do anything stupid. Don't go and socialise like they're telling you not to do. Listen to what they say and um, stay safe, guys. Yeah. Well, it's an absolute turn of events. Obviously, as I just mentioned, like pretty much everyone's in lockdown now. Like phones have been going mad. We've been in touch with uh, Taz and Hannah, our kids, and um, Taz is in uni uh, in Plymouth. I'm just shutting my computer down because basically, um, like almost no one is left in the building, and um, so she's going to be pretty much all alone. And after tonight, we don't know if we're going to be able to get to her. So <coughs> we're going to have to mad rush down here. So about it's about. Half ten, quarter to eleven now. We've got a two-hour drive to go and get a then two-hour drive back. So um, it's Operation Collector the Zadorta. So I'm in a bit of a panic. Got to get ready, get dressed quickly, and then hit the road for a two-hour drive late at night and try and get her. So yeah, yeah, I'll bring them down. Madness. Well, that's us filled up with fuel. Uh, we're pretty much full tank. Got three hundred fourteen miles. It's now ten to eleven. So we're just waiting to get the address because I can't remember what the address is for the accommodation in Plymouth. If she answers her phone. No. Yeah, so as soon as we get that, I can actually hit the road and um, I assume it'll be pretty clear at least. And get down there as quick as we can, get her back home. Do you and, not know uh, where safe. to start driving? Not really, no. Well, we're making progress. We're in a BP services. Not too far from Exeter already, so we're making good progress. It's about half past 11 now. Um, but we needed a quick pee break just to kind of uh, empty our systems. Pepsi Max, no alcohol, thank you. Um, so Shell just popped in now to pop to the loo. I just wanted to go in and make sure they, that they had one they were clean before she did. So as soon as she gets back, back on the road. We should be there in about an hour, according to the sat-nav. The roads are dead. So um, there's not much traffic around at all, which isn't surprising. Um, pick up the Razamataz and uh, yeah, so we should probably be home. Get there for around half twelve, about half two, I reckon. Seeing how, depending on how long we'll see it takes to get her stuff in the car and get her up and out the door. So getting there, progress. Uh, it's going to be a late one, that's for sure. Hey, so with the M5 during an apocalypse. There is literally hardly any cars. So the first two I've seen coming towards us, there's about three in front of us. And this is the, the M5, which is normally absolutely chocolate block regardless of time. So, yep, I don't think we're going to have a problem getting to Plymouth tonight, that's for sure. Okay, I don't know if I should be worried or not, but if you look at the radio station, nothing no. is working. So that's all kind of broken. But that's working now, it wasn't working. But most stations, we're getting nothing like during the whole journey, like two hours. Almost all radio stations, apart from BBC Radio On, which is the emergency broadcast one, we can't get any of them. So I have no idea why, but that is a little weird. Apart from BBC, which has been off and on. But at least it's working now. Yeah. Well, protection on, safety first. We are safe, we got Taz, <laughs> we have arrived in Plymouth, we're in a student accommodation, so we are definitely gloving and masking up because we don't trust none of them. Most people have gone. Filthy animals. So yeah, we're going to collect and get our stuff. Oscar and then, uh, and been out hopefully, yeah, Oscar's been out every day, so we've got to make Almost sure we are safe first. So we need to go and get our stuff and uh, get the hell out of here. Are you ready to see you? Sorry, okay. I'm not sure. I don't know. I, Hang on. I, I, well, um, lights are out. Yeah, you just have a wiggle. I'm, I'm wiggling. <laughs> How much stuff are you taking with you? Right, I'm going to show you. Okay, you got Snorlax, that's the main thing. Yeah, his name is Sourdough. No, his name is Snorlax. Sourdough. Snorlax. Snorlax. This is my artwork stuff, and then also my cables, and then I don't know what's with my Xbox. So it's there for now. But do I need it? I mean... Jesus Christ! I need most of this. I need most of this. I mean the switch, obviously. Yeah. That's it. Just take everything back. Take the switch. 
any of really? this. Really? Holy crap. I've got, that's cloves, that's all cloves, that's it. That's all that's in that thing is cloves. That's a lot of stuff. You've got your keys? Yes. Oh, I took my top set off so these can move. Okay, That's right. a lot of stuff. I bleached them Yeah, put them in the bin. Right. Jesus. Right. This need... needs to go because it's my... Yeah. Right, what do okay. you need? Right, I, need to go, I need to go to the loo as well, okay. so I'm, I'm popping into it as a toilet. Well, so much for a few bits. We've literally packed the whole car. Michelle's struggling to get into her side because Taz is sitting in the front. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really see you very well. Hang on, let me see if I can put the flash on. That's better. <laughs> like a deer in the headlights. Yay! Loads of room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're going to be real comfy in there. At least you've got Snorlax with you. So the car is absolutely ram packed now. So we're just waiting on Taz to uh, say goodbye to her friends. So she should be back down in a minute and uh, we'll hit the road again. What's the time now? Uh, I don't even know. Five past one in the morning. We've got a long drive ahead of us. So that, so far, a successful recovery mission. Well, <coughs> good start. It's now 20 past three in the morning and we've just got back and got everything out of the car. <sighs> what a long ass day that's been. I was not expecting that. Um, but at the end of the day, the kids come first. Families always come first. So I know technically shouldn't have gone out because of isolation and all that, but there's a chance of our accommodation being, well, everyone being empty out of the place. So there was no point. Keeping her there on her own, so she's home. What are you drinking? Water. Water, how exciting. What did you think I was drinking? Ted did get a stiff drink. Um, so yeah, she's now I home at least. Sorry? I thought you guys burning a stiff drink. Yeah? What, you got like pims? Ooh, I hope not. Or a copperberg. I don't drink copperberg, that's but nasty. You have them. <laughs> yeah, they're hammers. Yeah, yeah, I don't drink that, that's nasty. I don't know. I need to get some more rubber. Yeah, okay, stiff drink is as much as a beer in my house right now, but yeah, I need to have a cup of tea. Go to sleep, because it's been one hell of a long ass day after all of that, but we are all home safe, that's the main thing. Taz is home for the foreseeable future now, and um, yeah, it is what it is, so I'm going to leave that there, because I'm absolutely knackered. We all need to get some sleep, so... Thanks for watching. It was an interesting turn of events in the end. Um, like, subscribe, hit notification bell, and uh, I will see you all at some point when I wake up out of my pit tomorrow. Cheers, guys.